serrated edge for cutting through roots, little bits of uh, branch in the soil, any rocks just slide out of the way, basically like just a little hand grip, not a proper D handle like these shovels have. And what's good about it, you probably saw in the time lapse and a little bit of extra video, is you can really get your weight behind it but it just slides along horizontally to where you want to be and stuff goes in it effortlessly and then you can just use the leverage of the long handle to flick it into the barra. Amazing. A few days ago, me and Sophia put up this cladding behind me. Um, the corrugated bitumen style cladding. And it's actually come up really nice. Um, I'll show you around the back, because that is equally as decent. You can see behind me, um, we've done all the backside, and you can see my nav board head. I'm gonna spin you around, hang on. So it looks pretty good. All in all, I'm really happy with it. It looks really smart. We've got no windows on this back wall, as you remember. Um, and you can see the roof from there. Looking nice. And um, yeah, we're basically gonna be having a break now because uh, Christmas is here and we are self-isolating as funnily enough a lot of people are this year um we seem to have caught a bug and one of us has got it the covid um pcr test was positive for one of us but we're all staying in we love each other so it's all good but yeah coming along nicely i haven't done the little um you can hear it's raining now but i haven't done the little um uh, apron like eyebrow bits up here that I want to do yet but I'm going to do those just having a few days of relaxation set for today I thought I should do something uh, rather than sit around so the trench is looking really good now filled it in left it proud and we're almost on the final stretch basically we just got to do this last little bit there was a big hole here where you can see the difference in the size of that and that, where we had all the collapses. Um, there's not much left to do on this. Uh, we have got to do 
some prep for connections up here so this is the final bit um, to get all this connected the cable is on order for the yellow duct in and this blue water pipe needs connecting inside here so the other side of this window bathroom basically so we're going to connect we'll go through probably we could probably tee off this uh, down here we've got um, a couple of little points there so there's like a draining bleed valve there um, to empty the system and there's two taps on here so what I might do this one's for this Belfast sink we've got here and then this other one here um, is just like an outside connection so what I might do is just run an extra bit along come down with it connect to our blue pipe uh, and just do like a little insulated box area here just to make sure that this pipe as it comes out isn't going to get um, frost damage or any frozen sections on it these two pipes seem to be doing all right but i guess they're at the end of the system so i'd never know but we could insulate all that up this yellow duct in is going to be going um round so under here same location and then we're going to put the armored cable round the outside of the house all the way down here and then just through this wall is where the consumer unit is for the house which we're also going to have to replace because it's a bit old-fashioned so i'll actually show you uh, let me bring you around to have a look at that turn some lights on so this is the old consumer unit here so it's on the old bake light style or ceramic fuses and some random setup at the top with two different breakers for two uh, that go to the same part of the house which is weird so we've got a whole new consumer unit going in there and then we've got another consumer unit going in the outbuilding that we've done so we'll have breakers for the whole house now instead of these fuses we can't really replace and then we'll have a separate rcbo similar to that that will isolate the salon so the outbuilding and then in there we'll have another breaker board rcbo in there so yeah that's where it's coming so the steps on the outside run up here and then the window which i just showed you is there the other side of the um like understairs cupboard so the cable will have to come in it can either come in up there or we can do it inside the step section um which is out there so we'll get that all sorted um yeah these are the steps i was going on about so yeah inside there we've got um quite a bit of usable storage i can get in yeah so it's in here uh, you can't really see anything apologies but yeah that wall there also i don't want to be mr cliche but if you could subscribe to the channel if you're not already a subscriber like the channel leave us a comment share the channel um hit the alert button that'd be great try and build the following on this channel we've got some brilliant projects coming up as you'll see uh, after Christmas we'll get started and I'll be down the actual workshop um, and hopefully we'll get this finished. So thanks very much. Uh.